Okay. Um, again, I've been looking through my journal, and the Lord's just jogging me, um, jogging my memory of all the things that He's been sharing with me. And it's funny because sometimes I think that He's gone quiet, but when I look in my journal and see all the things that He's showing me, I go, no, not really, actually. He's still pouring out His Spirit. He's still giving revelation. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to share two more for encouragement. And um, one was a dream I had where I was um, in a gar a store, a shop. Uh, it was it was a dress shop or a garment, you know. I was looking at garments in a shop. And um, it was brought to my attention by the, the owner of the shop that there was an invitation there for me, which seems really unusual. It seems really weird that you'd be getting an invitation while you're in a store. Um, but I went over and she had a box of invitations for many people but um, I opened it up and, and there was an invitation and as I opened it it was beautiful it was like it was not like nothing I'd ever seen before it was such a beautiful invitation but it was an invitation for many many brides it wasn't your usual wedding um, so I know it was symbolic of, um, of the wedding that we'll soon be attending um, and the significance of the garment store is that obviously I didn't need to pick a garment because the Lord has um, chosen one for me. He's already dressed and adorned me, um, ready for that day. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. And also on the 9th of September, um, I'd had a dream through that night, which I'll share, share separately. But when I woke that morning, I had a quick vision and the vision was of Christ racing on a white horse um, to come for his bride so we know it's close hang on hang on hold fast don't let anyone steal your crown he's coming soon love you all